The earth is made up of three layers, crust, mantle, and core. Made almost entirely of metal, in particular, iron and nickel, its inner core is 3,200 miles below the crust, separated from the mantle by the liquid outer core that allows the inner core to rotate at a speed different from the planet's rotation. Xiaodong Song and Yi Yang from Peking University in China published in the journal Nature Geoscience recently that researchers studied seismic waves from earthquakes passing through the Earth's inner core over the past six decades to find out how fast the inner core is rotating. The authors of the study said they found that the rotation of the inner core almost stopped around 2009 and then turned in the opposite direction. Since then, the authors said, seismic records, which had previously changed over time, showed little difference. This globally consistent pattern suggests that inner core rotation has recently stopped, he wrote. We show surprising observations that indicate that the inner core has almost stopped its rotation in the recent decade and is experiencing a turning point. When you look at the decade between 1980 and 1990, Song said, you see a clear change, but when you look at 2010 to 2020 you don't see much change. What effect does the inner core have on people? This is too little to indicate that the rotation of the inner core has a great impact on humans. But both researchers said they believe there are physical connections between all layers of Earth from the inner core to the surface. We hope that our study can inspire some researchers to create and test models that treat the entire Earth as an integrated dynamic system, he wrote. Analysis of earthquakes suggests that the movement of the Earth's inner core stopped around 2009 and now it can start rotating in the opposite direction. This process can be the result of a 70-year-long cycle. These can affect the length of the day and the magnetic field on Earth, but this is not necessarily the case. It is difficult to study the Earth's core specifically, but the core plays a major role in the processes of making the Earth a habitable planet. It protects the Earth from the magnetic field, which works to prevent harmful radiation from reaching the Earth's surface. New research has raised questions about the future of life on Earth. The rotation of the Earth's core affects the surface atmosphere. Scientists say that a cycle of the core takes about 60 to 70 years to complete. After this, the core starts rotating in the opposite direction. Scientists believe that solid cores first changed direction in the 1970s. Earth's core discovered for the first time. Scientists also believe that the rotation of the core affects the Earth's atmosphere, but it is normal to rotate in reverse. It does not pose a threat to life on Earth. Earth's core was first discovered in 1936 after studies of how seismic waves pass through the planet. Much of what has been revealed about the solid inner core was revealed only by measuring seismic waves. The core is made of iron. Experts say that it occurs about 5,000 kilometers below the Earth's upper surface. Earth is a planet in itself and the core is also the inner planet of that Earth and it is about 7,000 kilometers wide. The center of this core is solid, most of which is made of iron. On the other hand the outer shell of this core is surrounded by molten iron and other liquid metals. The core rotates freely. Earth's inner core is about 75% the size of the Moon. This solid inner core of the Earth itself can move freely as it is surrounded only by liquid metals. However, when iron from its outer core crystallizes on the surface of the inner core the density of the outer liquid changes. The authors of this study are Xiaodong Song and Ji Yang from Beijing University in China. Change in Atmosphere Temperature Researchers Yi Yang and Xiaodong said that the gravitational coupling between the inner core and the mantle can cause deformation on the Earth's surface, which will affect sea level. Changes of sea level and Earth's rotation can affect the global atmosphere and temperature. The resonance of different systems can also enhance interpersonal interactions. Scientists expect the core to move west in the coming years. Differences over the cycle of the core. Vidal, a seismologist at the University of Southern California, said there was some good evidence to support this. He said the inner core only shifted significantly between 2001 and 2013 and has remained so ever since. Roj Talakasik, a geophysicist at the Australian National University, has published research suggesting that the cycle of the inner core is every 20 to 30 years instead of the 70 proposed in the latest study. Earth's core is always in motion, driven by heat convection, due to the difference in temperature between the core and the surrounding mantle. 
The motion of the core generates Earth's magnetic field, which helps protect the planet from harmful solar radiation. It is believed that the core is mostly composed of iron and nickel, and it is divided into two layers, the inner core, which is solid and the outer core, which is liquid. The outer core is in a state of convection, caused by heat that is generated by the radioactive decay of elements in the Earth's mantle. This convection fluid drives the motion of the outer core, which in turn generates the Earth's magnetic field. It should be noted that the core is slowing down over time due to friction with the rest of the planet, making Earth's day about 1.7 milliseconds longer per century. A recent paper published in the journal Nature Geoscience describes a change in the motion of Earth's core, and with that news, headlines grew, with some claiming that the Earth's core has stopped spinning. But this interpretation is actually misleading. Earth's core isn't really stopping, however, this is changing. Earth is not a solid ball, it has many layers. The innermost is the core, which is a solid sphere of the same size as Mars. Around it is the outer core, which is liquid rock. The next layer is the mantle, which is like taffy in a way in stability. Finally there is the crust, which is the outermost layer, the place where we live. If the Earth were a solid ball, each layer would rotate in the sink, rotating once per day. However, due to the layered structure, it is possible for the Earth's core to rotate at a slightly different rate from the surface and other layers. And, in the 1990s, researchers used geological data taken over the past few decades to show that the Earth's core was rotating a little faster than the rest of the Earth. The difference is small, about one degree faster per year than the Earth's surface. This more recent study found that the rotation of the core is slowing down. It is not stopping, but is now rotating at the same speed as the Earth. In addition, it appears that the core may be slower so that it eventually rotates a little slower than Earth. It's scientifically interesting, but less dramatic than some headlines. Researchers have previously observed this periodic change in the speed of rotation of the Earth's core and they still debate the rate at which it occurs, with some suggesting a 70-year cycle, while others suggest being much faster. For geologists, this is attractive stuff. The Earth's radius is just 4,000 miles and the deepest well anyone has ever dug is a little over 7.5 miles deep. The layer beneath Earth's continents can be about 40 miles deep, although the layer beneath the oceans can be much thinner. Indirect methods are needed to explore the structure of the Earth, including studying how fast waves from earthquakes travel through the Earth, or studying the rich wealth of data on how sound passes through the Earth from nuclear explosions. Barring a few exceptions, nuclear testing ceased in the mid-1990s. Putting the breathing headlines aside, this recent study confirms earlier results that show that the rotation of the inner core changes over time and helps geologists try to figure out the mechanism by which those changes occur. Geologists care about the interplay between gravity and magnetic forces within the Earth that speed up and slow down the rotation of the core. However, another important lesson to be drawn here is that scientists are able to make extremely accurate measurements of what is going on beneath the Earth's surface. It's a big thing, after all, it's the only planet we have. Everything that happens beneath the Earth has huge potential consequences for humanity. Consider supervolcanoes sleeping under Yellowstone National Park. Every half a million years or so, sometimes longer, Yellowstone turns into a volcano that spews hundreds or thousands of times more ash into the atmosphere than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. While some people are concerned that perhaps Yellowstone supervolcano is due to another explosion, recent studies have allayed the concern that the threat is imminent. However, given the magnitude of the damage such eruptions cause, it is imperative that geologists continue to monitor what's happening. And there's a lot going on beneath the Earth's surface. Earth's magnetic field guides ships into the ocean and loses lost hikers for safety. It is easy to believe that the familiar compass will always work, although geologists have shown that Earth's magnetic field is not constant. Indeed, Every few hundred thousand years, the field flips, the magnetic south moves northward, and vice versa. And, while a flip is probably not adjacent, the location of the magnetic north also changes over a human time scale. In the early 1900s, it was located in northern Canada, although it has moved into the Arctic Ocean and is now approaching Siberia. 
By understanding more about the Earth's inner workings, scientists will be able to help prepare humanity for significant changes in the Earth's magnetic field. If this happened, we would have to change all instrumentation dependent on the compass to navigate. We have only one planet and what happens inside it can affect all of us. It is imperative that geologists continue to study what is happening inside our globe, and this recent measurement of changes in the rotation of Earth's core gives us some comfort that we remain at speed.